In this problem, we have a system of two particles, and we know from the problem. <clears throat> in this problem, we have a system of two particles. Uh, we're given the mass of both particles, and we're given their positions. And the problem asks if we were to add a third particle with a some known mass, where would we have to add the particle in order for the whole system's center of mass to be? here at these coordinates given at the end of the problem. Now we have a formula for the location of center of mass. The center of mass, the, the location of the center of mass of a system of particles is equal to the mass of one of the particles times its position plus the mass of the second particle times its position plus and then so on and so forth. We only have three particles here so we just goes up to three mass of the third particle times its position, and all of this divided by the total mass of the system. So m1 plus m2 plus m3. Now we'll have to use two different equations for this. One where we're focusing on the x center of mass, and one where we're focusing on the y center of mass. That's why the problem is split up into two parts, where we're looking for the x and y coordinates of where this particle is going to go. So let's do some labeling here. Let's say that the two kilogram particle is particle one, and let's say that the four kilogram particle is particle two. So I'll say that the three kilogram particle, the one we're adding, is particle three. Now if you'll notice, uh, just in this equation right here, we are given everything by the problem except for the position of the particle, which makes sense. But it also makes this very easy because we have the masses of all three particles, so all these m's are known. And the x c o m, this final x, is just going to be negative 5, negative 0 0.5 meters, since that's supposed to be the final x position of the system's center of mass. So all we got to do is say that negative 0.5 meters is equal to, and then we just plug in everything else and then algebraically rewrite this to solve for x3. So we have to do some algebra there. But fortunately, it's pretty simple algebra. We just add up the masses, multiply both sides of the equation by, that, by the total mass, and then do some more pretty basic uh, multiplication and division to get x3. And what we find is that the position, the x position, that particle 3 has to be at is negative 1.50 meters. So that's the x position of the particle. That's where we'll have to place the particle to get this center of mass. For part b, for the y coordinate, we'll just do pretty much the exact same thing, except we'll have to use the y version of the formula. So instead, it's the mass of particle 1 times the y position of that particle plus m2y2 plus m3y3 all over, again, the total mass of the system. Using that exact same process, we can solve for y3, and what we find is that it's equal to negative 1.43 meters. And so that's where the y position of the third particle will have to be. That's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as it'll help me make more videos like this. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video, my Discord server and my Twitch page are both linked in the description down below, so check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now, I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.